So I'm on the way to pick up my daughter from school. I like to pick up uh, my kids from school whenever I can. And because um, of our lifestyle, what we do, uh, parents are always home when the kids come home. Mom's always home, dad's always home. Unless of course I'm on a, you know, go to Bangkok and speak or something like that. But other than that, always home and uh, always make sure that we drop our kids off at school and we live close enough to where we can walk back and forth. I think that's really important. Um, I was thinking about uh, my wife and, and how well-centered she is and just what a good person she is. She doesn't have any kind of like uh, father or mother issues or um, any kind of unhealthy behaviors that uh, a lot of adults have that got in childhood. Uh, you know, not learning how to accept love correctly or, you know, having to get in fights and make up to feel love and all that kind of stuff. And she's a fantastic woman, but that, a lot of that has to do with uh, her childhood and how she grew up. Uh, her parents were always, always home because they're farmers. So her dad would actually take her to school on the tractor, right? And uh, she'd actually end up walking home with some friends. But when she got home, her parents were there. And uh, then she'd help out with the farm and stuff. So that doesn't happen a lot, I think, in today's busy society on here, which is really important. So if you haven't created the kind of lifestyle for yourself that you want, that um, if you want to be able to be home for your kids, get rid of that J-O-B, there's a good why for you right there. Everyone needs a why. Make a lot of money, it's not gonna be enough to do it. You need a bigger why. You need a lifestyle, why? You need the reasons, the experiences that money can buy for you, why? You know? Um, so, alrighty, so I'm almost there, and if I, if the school will let me, they should, I pay enough for her to go there. And my other kids, I should be able to do whatever I want. I'm the boss, right? I'm the one who writes the paychecks. Uh, and that's the way I feel about it, too. Um, see if I can film a little bit of her and her school and stuff. She's so cute, it's unbelievable. Check it out. This last little climb up here, this is a killer. Check out this hill here, watch this, look at that. Get a feel for how steep that is. <laughs> Kids always complain about that, having to walk to school and this last little hill climb, look at that. but it's good for you, right? It's good exercise. When we first moved here, it's not walking up this hill. It's not that far from the house at all, uh, but you're not used to walking, right? So especially when uh, hey, everybody in Spain, you do a lot of walking, not a whole lot of driving. And uh, I have to admit, even though I go to the gym and exercise regularly, it's a new type of exercise. I had to adjust to it, but it's good. Probably burn an extra, I don't know, 100 calories. Doesn't sound like much, but it actually is. Uh, just coming to pick her up here. So I'm going to try to do this video incognito. See if we can get a shot of the school inside. See if we can find her. If she finds me first. There, she found me. See her? Uh, teacher, look over here. Oh, look at that. So cute. Look at the cute cuties. Look at that. How was school today? Really? What kind of amazing things did you do and learn today? Uh, on, on Tuesday, I bought a jar and, and we're making like candle, candle holders. 
candle holders, no way. And the, and the outside of the jar, we decorated it as a mummy. Really? As a mummy? Mm -hmm. Is this for like Halloween? Yes, and stuck some uh, a spider confetti. Did they do Halloween in, in Spain too? <laughs> wow, that's kind of cool, right? But we're not finished yet. We're going to bring it home tomorrow because uh, our teacher needs to buy the Google Ah, uh, okay. Cool. So how's your best friend Izzy? Good. You, got, you guys play together at Playground? You guys eat lunch together too? You guys are like the best of buds? Yeah. That's so cool. Best friends are the best, aren't they? So. Alright, are you ready to go home? Uh-huh. Yep. So tell me, is this hill easier to climb? Then when we f first started going to school here? Uh, what? This hill, it's kind of steep. You don't even notice anymore, do you, how steep this hill is? When you climb it in the morning, when you walk up this hill in the morning, is it hard anymore or is it easy? Uh, it's still hard. Still hard, yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't get any less steeper, does it? So, very good. Let's see if we can pan out here. Let's see a little bit of the... Uh, the beach out there so that's it right how could you not want to do that every day make it happen you can do this make your life turn around so you don't have to do the job come home at 5 30 spend an hour in the car driving home and miss out on all this kind of stuff right because you know what they say they grow up so fast chris winters take care bye Is that funny? You think that's funny when dad's filming? Okay. Yeah.